Now you're ready to navigate the Final Cut Pro 10 environment. Work in the timeline, use tools, work with audio, transitions, titles and graphics, apply effects, set render controls, and use compressor. In this segment, we'll talk about the option to publish directly from Final Cut Pro X. We've learned how to export out of Final Cut Pro 10 and out of Compressor. Now you could take those files and publish them to your social media or video posting site, but there's one step simpler. Instead of having to even deal with the file you've exported, Final Cut Pro 10 will actually post it directly to quite a few sites for you. Let's show how that works. We'll go up to the file, share, and we're gonna choose YouTube. Now all of these choices here are all the same, just what site you're logged into is the difference. And of course, what it can and can't do in the settings that given location actually requires. So with Facebook, like who can see it if it's your friends or your fans or what have you. And same thing with YouTube, it's the same questions it would do if you're posting directly to YouTube, but it looks a little simpler. So let's choose YouTube. And I'm going to bring over the dialog box here, the Final Cut Pro export window. And in the information tab, we have the title of the actual file. And this is all the information that's going to be uploaded with it. So the description, although I don't have a description, so it just has the default there. It has which creator made the file, which is Video Maker. And then all of the tags that were associated with the videos that were within my project. And the nice thing is, is that it'll actually upload all those tags directly to YouTube so that you don't have to import them after you've uploaded the file. Now, if we go to the settings tab, it will show you your options here. Now, I'm already logged into YouTube, so I can choose my resolution, compression, privacy, and category all within Final Cut's upload export window here. So what I'm going to do is I want it actually to be HD. If I produce this in 4K, it would have that as an option. I can now choose if I want fast encode or better quality. I think better quality is going to be the better option for us here at Video Maker. And then privacy, I can choose unlisted, public, or private. If you use YouTube, you'll know which ones these are. And I'm going to choose unlisted. And then lastly, I'm going to choose category, which we post using the film and animation category or education. But depending on what kind of videos you make, you want to choose yours. So now we have all the settings that are set up here. 1920 by 1080, 30 frames per second. It's in stereo, 48 hertz, the Full timeline is 20 seconds, 29 frames. It is set to private and it's going to be a quick time movie. If I go to next, it now brings up the YouTube terms of service and I'm going to choose publish. And if I go over to my progress window here, the background tasks, I can see that it's sharing. So it's exporting, writing and uploading all at the same time. And that wraps up sharing your video with Final Cut Pro X. That concludes our course. I hope you learned a lot and that you watch it again. Until next time, thank you for watching.